Hi guys, Paul from PA Brew News. We're over here at Ripestein's Brewing Company in uh, Newberry, Pennsylvania, outside of Williamsport. We're gonna have a cross cutter pale ale or cross cut pale ale, five brew, five point eight alcohol by volume. Just a little bit of soft earthiness coming in there, a little a little citrus, not too much. Let's get the taste. <laughs> Nice. There's a nice little grapefruit, a little bit of lemon in the back in there. A little floralness going on. I like that. Nice bitterness. Good, good, good body overall. A little cold. I need to get better as it warms. It's pretty good. I'm gonna give this one an eight. It's pretty good stuff. I know it's quick, but that's the way it is. Oh, sorry. I'm just saying, no one, no one else is like, eating. No, he's like, no, he should have just like, been like, yeah, be gone. And that's all we're going to get. Like, you're like, I'm done. I'm Please. done. Go <laughs> away. I'm in the middle of something. I said good day. <laughs> Let this one just go. Like, yeah, well, that's all we're getting. So don't be in there. What the hell is that from when he's like, I said good day, sir. I said good day, sir. What the hell is that from? I know it was from News Radio. But Okay, here we go again. This is the Alpha Deuce IPA 8.4 alcohol by volume. So this is definitely not a small boy. Let's see what we got going on here. A little bit of earthy, a little bit, uh, a little bit of slight floral notes coming through. It's really not that easy to smell. Yeah, nothing, nothing too crazy coming up from the aroma. It's gonna taste on it. Mm. Nice resiny, very assertive bitterness. Um, definitely a lot of floral earthiness, subtle pines. Nice resiny, resiny. Yeah, a little dankness in there. A little resiny, a lot of resiny pine. I smell, I smell caffeine. Not pulling any of that Simcoe goodness or Chinook goodness out of there right now. But it is kind of um, cold and it'll come up when it warms. I don't mind it though. It's it's it looks like a, my glass is not a circle anymore if you look at it. It's more of an it's a oval. Mouthful. It's a mouthful. Yeah. You know. yeah. A really nice bitterness too. Well, I'm going to give this one an 8. I think that deserves an 8. Not blowing me away, but it's not too bad. Just bump off from P.A. Brutus. Little screw we'll skirt, we'll just keep going. It's like. It's like. Yeah. It's like so you drink it, it feels like it's more than what you really put in. Well, there's a there's a nice malt base to back up all those huh? all those hops, but yeah. nothing too crazy. Like where, where are we gonna go to now? We're gonna go to two. This is their red ale. The red ale would be the Round Hills Red Ale, an English style or an Irish red, and it would be six percent alcohol by volume. Would you put real cheese on wheat bread for a kid? No aroma. No aroma. Like Let's try it. No, it's wheat bread. That's all you even get them to like eat anything healthy ever. Make us eat wheat pasta. Real soft, smooth, a little bit of burnt brown crush in there. That's all we buy is wheat bread. A little bready, a little caramel. I probably Nothing too like much. Kind of bland. But it is very, it will be very sessionable and drinkable because of, of like just that. the non-offensive attitude it has. I'm going to probably give this one like a six. Makes me sad. Yeah, six. Why don't you make it for me? Okay, here we go again. Time for a Bach. Why not, right? Bach time? You can buy uh, the Wanager. Wanagan Bach, which is 7% alcohol by volume. There we go. Let's see. Yeah, we've got, we got a nice little malty edge on there, a little bit of um, soft smoke coming up out of there with the Bach. No, I don't like honey very much. Really? I'd probably rather, I'd rather eat regular wheat bread or like green bread than I'd eat. It's a nice box. Oh, it's a nice box. Nice it was um, nicely malted. Little little brown crust in there. Little molasses coming up through. Problem is she takes soft smoke. She gives me a choice, and the choice is not going to be wheat bread if it's the choice of what I want. She oh, it's a nice box. Wheat bread. Okay. Moving on. Yeah. We're gonna give that box. I'm gonna give that box an eight. That's a really nice box. Okay, here we yeah, go. We had potato bread probably five Number six, I love brown ale. So here we go. I don't care. And I can't even see the mud puppy brown ale. Eight point five alcohol by volume. Everybody's talking. Everybody's talking. Here we get Nutella. Yeah, that's a really toasted brown ale. A lot of toasty notes coming out of this. Yeah. 
Yeah. Now that's a nice brown ale. Yeah, that's a standard that sessionable that. brown ale, pretty <laughs> solid in the overall caramel, toasted breads. Actually, it's not good. Little molasses. It's pretty it. good. Yeah, pretty good just, stuff. Pretty yeah, solid. I'm gonna give it a seven point five because this is actually pretty solid for a brown ale. Yeah. For every potato roll you eat. All right, and the last one would be the porter. And, and the porter so is, that's my nose is starting to run, that's not a good sign. <laughs> the uh, Jaysburg Porter, 6% uh, alcohol by volume. Mm -hmm. Got some Cascade Malts in there. Mmm, that's a smell, a nice smelling porter. That is really roasted. A little roasted, little, like toasted grains, a little bit of a chocolate coming through. That's, that's like a nice smelling porter. You know, drink of choice mm. on islands. We cheat, we buy the Long Island liquor. Hell yeah, nice porter, nice porter. This is some pretty good stuff, actually, one. from this... I do have a Captain and Coke. From this sampler, it's been pretty good. It's a My nice medium body, is, um, a lot of chocolate, yeah, coffee, toasted grains. I don't really have this one another eight. This has been a pretty good pretty good sampler here it's at uh, Reipstein's Brewing Company in Newberry, yeah, Pennsylvania. This has been Paul from PA Brewing I need to go blow my nose. Because 